Previously on Bravely Default 2, I got bited by a sandworm super boss in a snowy cemetery. In one of those rare meaningful side quests, the party learned that Galahad and Glass were siblings, but Galahad had to learn a bitter truth about what happened to her. The party then liberated Halcyonia from the Holograd General Lonsale, who was surprisingly open to negotiation. This won't be plain sailing. Okay, it's supposed to be... It's supposed to mainly use dark attacks, but it might be a little bit too strong for us. Stupid deal, huh, man? Get it! Oh shoot, it inflicted something on us. Healthbringer! Oh no, that's... that's his... default... default abilities, okay. My true power. Yeah. Yeah. Here goes the song. Hey, hey, well, my voice Here goes. I'll take the game. Time to play my trump cards. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Elemental supplement. Enemy is weak to light. I'm not just a dog yes, you know. Okay, now I should use fourfold flurry now that I'm all buffed up. Damn. I didn't take much as much damage as I just hoped. Here, try this. Feeling good. <laughs> Want to see what I can really do? Hmm. Nothing like your weave, Pedro. Right I owe you one. I needed that. Come and get it! Hmm. Here goes! Time to play my trump cards! I'm not just a dark hard job. Oh, you know? really, man? The boss has no buffs, default. To meet your Playing something big. Ha, I owe you one. Let me at him. It's time to get serious. Hmm. Easy does it. You do we hunt there. Thanks. You are about to witness my yeah. true yeah. power. I hope my voice here goes. A song. Here goes. Very well. Stupid thing. Now you've made me mad. Okay, do this again and hope for the best. Oh man, get it! It's almost down. I can finish you off with just an old cross slash spam. See how you like this. I barely broke I am stronger. Please tell me I got the drop. No, I have to fight again. Okay. Anyhow. You came. Thank goodness. I'll let Prince Pollux know you're here. He'll tell you everything. Very well. Then we shall make our way to the palace. Prince Pollux is waiting for us, so don't even think about heading to the gaming hall. Our first port of call should be the, the palace. Prince Pollux will be able to inform us of the latest developments. Doesn't matter how many times we come here, the heat never gets any easier to deal with. Oh, well, I suppose we're never going to save the world without breaking a sweat, eh? You have our thanks for coming all this way, Princess Gloria. It's my pleasure, Prince Pollux. 
Would you mind telling us what's been going on? Of course. As I asked Anihal to inform you, the Hologradas have demanded that our kingdom join their empire. I put the matter to the Council of Elders, but alas, they were divided. Things were further complicated when two of the Elders passed away in quick succession. Their deaths were deemed to be suicides, but both men happened to be of the faction opposed to joining the Empire. Which is rather suspicious, I'm sure you will agree. You think the Hologriders had them killed? I'm afraid that I do. Hmm... We'll be happy to help in any way we can, of course. Thank you, Your Highness. Perhaps you could speak to some of the Council members. They might be more prepared to open up to one such as yourself. The possibility that Holograd has infiltrated the Council somehow cannot be discounted. We must find out the truth. Not all bad news. Hmm. Crikey, someone's looking a wee bit glum. I must confess that Savalon's current plight does concern me rather... Well, Pollux isn't exactly a seasoned leader, and what with all the elders citing suspicious circumstances, it is a bit of a worry, aye. Yes. It's not all bad news, though. I heard they've started work on repairing the parts of the city that were damaged by all the water. And once it's all gone, they'll be able to finish a job. That's good to hear. I hope the repairs continue to go well. Aye, and these aren't a people that's well in despair, either. Business at the gaming hall is as booming as ever. Really? Even at a time like this? I always say there's four essentials in life. Food, clothing, shelter, and fun. And if they're having fun, it means the other three are covered. I suppose so. Good, let's get down there and do our bit then. To the gaming hall. Not until the matter at hand is resolved, Albus. We have duties to perform. Ah, oh, your highness, of course. That's me told. All this talk of assassinations has put me a wee bit on edge. Not that I was feeling particularly relaxed before with all the calamities, and the monsters, and the invasions. First order of business is to gather information. Let's track down all the elders and see what they have to say. Prince Pollux put me in charge of communications. I'm glad to be of help. It's entirely possible the agents of Holograd had a hand in the depths of the two elders. Perhaps you would speak with the four who remain. Their names are Cygnus, Draco, Delphinus, and Leo. My sworn duty to protect and serve Prince Pollux and Sabalon come up May. I must not and cannot think of anything else. Hmm. So, I saw Lord Dolphinus on the bridge a short while ago, and they believe that Lord Leo is currently conducting another inspection of the gaming hall. Lord Draco should be in the palace square. I believe Lady Cygnus had business to attend to at the end. The deaths of those two elders. They were suicides, were they not? Or are you suggesting otherwise? Well, the circumstances are pretty suspicious. Suspicious, you say? You have been talking to Prince Pollux, I assume. He certainly does not seem to believe that those poor men killed themselves. Well, they were both opposed to joining the Empire, and they both happened to die. You can see why he might believe Holograd had something to do with it. Yes. And I must confess, I am inclined to agree with him. After all, Savalon is as far from Holograd as it is possible to get. An invasion would be a difficult and long-winded affair. I can understand why they would attempt to subdue the kingdom through such machinations instead. Of course, I have not a shred of evidence to support this theory, which puts me in a very awkward position. Though it is nothing compared to the situation in which Prince Pollux has found himself following the death of his brother. It is our duty as elders to support him. Speaking of which, I must attend a meeting. Perhaps we will have the chance to talk again later. The two elders who passed away, they both killed themselves, did they not? Why do you ask? Prince Pollux didn't seem so sure it was suicide. Hmm, well... I do not wish to speak ill of the dead, but... We all know what Bernard did, do we not? Subverting the affairs of the nation for his own ends. The elders in question could well have been involved in something similar. I've heard that Holograd takes a very dim view of such activities. Perhaps these men were so afraid of what might happen to them if Savalon joined the Empire, that they took matters into their own hands. Hmm. Could be, I guess. 
Thanks for your help. How do you feel about joining the Empire, by the way? Are you for it or against it? Oh, I am all for it. The alternative is war. The people would suffer terribly. In any case, I am late for a council meeting. I must be on my way. Good day to you. What? The dead elders? I have no interest in them. Dwelling on the past will not help us adjust to our new reality. We will soon be part of the Empire. I guess you're in favor of joining, then. Indeed I am. As with any transaction, it is a simple matter of weighing the costs against the benefits. The fact is that our kingdom is in chaos. If we were to make a stand against the Hologradas now, it would be the end of us. Besides... <sighs> but I must be on my way. A council meeting is starting soon. Please, excuse me. It was the curse. It was the curse that killed them. What do you mean? They conspired with Bernard to have their fellow elder, Lupus, tried for a crime he did not commit. They did? So, uh, what happened to Lupus after that? He killed himself, stabbed himself in the chest with a dagger. Suicide. And now we have two more suicides. Bernard is dead. And now his co-conspirators are dead. Do you not see? This is Lupus's revenge from beyond the grave. It is a curse, I tell you. The thought makes my blood run cold. It chills me to my very core. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Lady Sickness asked for my assistance with an issue that has arisen. You have my undivided attention now, however. Tell me, what did you learn from your interviews with the Elders? Lupus, you say? It was his place on the council that Bernard took. And some suspect that he was accused of a crime he did not commit and that the ordeal led him to take his own life. And you think there might be some truth to this? One of the people we spoke to said that the two elders who died recently were cursed, that it was their punishment for framing Lupus. I shall have to discuss the matter with Dromid. He will know more, I am sure. And fortunately, the Council has just approved my proposal to consult with him on the matter of Holograd's request that we join the Empire. Come, we will visit him in his cell and see what he has to say. Poor old Dromed's still banged up in the dungeon, is he? Blimey, I mean, I know it's what he wanted, but still. Resentment and hatred are all too real, but I remain skeptical about the existence of curses. So the prince has to ask the council for permission to do stuff. That's kind of an interesting way of doing things. Prince Pollux? Is something the matter? Well, no. But did you not enter the dungeon just moments ago? Certainly not. I have just arrived. Oh, no! Come on, we need to hurry! Hmm? But why? I'll explain later. Right now, Dromed's in danger. How did they know we would contact Dromed? What in the... Dromed? Hmm? Oh, Your Highness, there are two of you. That was a close dodge. Who's the imposter? So, the time has come, and earlier than expected. The time to kill you all. Okay, let's do this. 
prepare to die. What? The background didn't change. It's time to get serious. Yeah! You are about to witness my No name. Power. Hmm. Oh, my oh. light knows no bounds! I hope my voice here goes. Oh. 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 Time to play my trump cards. You're weak to light. Shieldcraft Defender of People. Now you've made me mad. Oh, okay, just spam four fold flurry. <laughs> what was that just a Kagi Bunshin? No bored of this. Time to withdraw. <laughs> she just vanished. Crikey. What was that? A, a ghost? Something to do with this curse? No, nothing of the sort. Whoever she was, she dropped her necklace. <laughs> it seems you arrived just in time. You have my thanks. But why come after me? I guess somebody wants you out of the way. It seems you know more of the circumstances than I. Would you care to explain? Forgive us, Dromed. The kingdom finds itself in dire need of your wisdom. I see. Much has been afoot. Indeed. And I would hear your thoughts. How should we proceed, old friend? Well, from what you have told me, there would seem to be little doubt that Holograd has been engaging in clandestine activity within the kingdom. Perhaps I am an obstacle to their scheme in some way, hence their attempt to eliminate me. It must be something you know, something vital to their plans. Indeed, but what? The bulk of my knowledge concerns the history and governance of Savannah. So maybe we have to compare Dromed's knowledge with the a statement of everyone else. If we can deduce what it is they believe I know, we might be able to make some sense of all this. Only the Council knew that I was coming here to meet with Dromed. Which means an Elder is responsible. But what could they have been so keen to keep you from telling me? Let's go and talk to them all again, eh? The culprit's bound to let something slip eventually. Assassin's Necklace Obtained Who done it? I can't stop thinking about the suicides of these elders. There just isn't any way it, it, it's a coincidence. Yeah, it's gotta be something to do with the ones who want to join the Empire and the ones who don't, right? Which would suggest that a member of the Council was behind it all. Right, which is why I did a little research on them all. So Cygnus and Delphinus are what you might call the pro-Empire faction. We've already met Cygnus, she seems to be a pretty serious sort of person. And Dolphinus, well, he sounds like the opposite. Rumor has it he likes to gamble. A lot. And then there's Draco. He's kind of a fence there. Basically, he'll go w along with our Prince Pollux decides. And finally, there's Leo. He's against joining the Empire, but... But? Well, it sounds like all kinds of rumors have been flying around about him since the other elders died. So where to begin? The elders who supposedly killed themselves were assassinated by hologradders. That is quite a claim. And I have little to say in response. Please understand. I am in favor of joining the Empire. It is the best way to avoid a war. It will also create numerous trading opportunities for Savalon. It is not ideal. And to reach this conclusion was not easy. But life does not consist of easy decisions. You would do well to remember that. Uh, for, forgive me, I am too busy to speak with you at the moment. Huh? Hmm. What is it, Gloria? Oh, nothing, I'm sure. It was just her perfume. It had the rather unique aroma of musk. 
Musk? What's that? It is an extract from a certain type of deer, prized for its unique fragrance. Hard to come by in Savalon, I should imagine. I wouldn't think that there are very many people who wear it. So she's the most suspicious, huh? The elders did not commit suicide, you say? They were murdered by hologratters. That's right. And they tried to murder Dramed too. Luckily, we got there first. The assassin dropped this necklace. Hmm. It is a valuable clue, no doubt, but I am afraid it means nothing to me. But wait. Dogs and other animals can use the sense left on personal items to trace their owners. Can they not? Perhaps something similar might yield results. Dog? Like this one? You want to know who owns that necklace? Okay. We'll help you. Can you give it here? He says it smells of deer. Deer? How come? I don't know. Sorry. Okay, so Cygnus is prime suspect. You wish to know more about Lupus? Very well. He was a good man, diligent and honest to a fault. That is why Bernard and his partners in crime were able to take advantage of him as they did. It was perhaps merciful that his wife had already passed away. But it meant that his death left their only daughter orphaned. A terrible business. The full details of the family and all that came to pass are sure to appear in the kingdom's official records. Drumhead will be able to tell you more, no doubt. Are you sure there aren't any more questions do you want to ask to Drumhead or the other elders? Don't be shy about grilling them again if you need to confirm anything. The motive for the attack must have been to prevent Dromed from sharing some piece of wisdom, and only an elder would have ha had the means to commit the crime. Furthermore, the perpetrator dropped a necklace to the scene. Might these three pieces of information be enough to identify the traitor? I, I always say intuition is the best way of figuring things out. Go your hunch. If you think someone's guilty, go just go right ahead and accuse them. What's the worst that can happen? Is that the necklace you recovered from the floor of my cell? Would you mind if I examined it more closely? My word. This is Lupus's family crest. But why was my would-be assassin in possession of such an item? Well, have you identified the traitor? Yes. You have? Excellent. I shall call an emergency meeting of the council immediately. Thank you all for gathering here at such short notice. As you are well aware, the council recently lost two of its members. I am sorry to inform you that there is a strong likelihood they were killed by agents of Holograd. However, with the assistance of Dromed and Princess Gloria, we have managed to unmask the traitor. If you would. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll take it from here. First of all, it is important to note that the two elders who were murdered were... Against joining the Hologratter Empire. Of course, their assassin could only have known this if they had infiltrated the Council. The killer then turned their attention to Dromid. Why? Well, he must have had knowledge of something from the kingdom's past that the killer would have preferred not to be made public. In order to attempt the assassination, the traitor disguised themselves as Prince Pollux, knowing the guards would be expecting him. However, not everybody knew that the prince was due to visit Dromid. In fact... Only the council knew. Luckily, we were able to intercept the assassin. Less luckily, they were able to escape. However, they dropped something in the process. A necklace. It was a necklace. 
And this necklace has a very distinctive smell. The smell of perfume. The same perfume worn by... Cygnus. It's you, Lady Cygnus. You're the traitor. <laughs> well, Lady Cygnus, would you care to explain yourself? Did you really do this? And if so, why? Revenge. For my father. You mean you are Maya, Lupus's daughter? Not anymore. I am Marla now. But why? Why all this? I told you. Revenge. I killed the people who killed my father. The Lord Commander gave me an asterisk. That of the Phantom. And I used it well. Hold on, but Bernard was the one who arranged it. Wasn't Bernard on the Holograder's sign? But enough talk. Time to die, Prince Pollux. Get back, Your Highness! I shall show no mercy. Prepare to die. It's time to get serious. I have to scan you again for some reason. Prepare to meet your maker. Yeah. Yeah. I hope my voice goes. Here goes. I hope my voice here goes. Time to play my trump card. Shroud? What does that do? Does that blind? Nothing like your Okay. Fender of people. Now you've made me mad. Yeah! Now fourfold flurry again. Let's see if we can survive it this time. Yeah! Yeah! Sure, you can fast, but that's no excuse. Phantom, pretty much this game's version of the ninja. I failed. I am useless. A disgrace. Wait, no! Thanks to Annie Hall. We have located the remains of the real Lady Cygnus. It would appear that the imposter was in place for quite some time. Forgive me, Your Highness. I only wish I had not been so blind to the deception that was taking place. You have nothing to apologize for, Dromed. Indeed, without your invaluable insight, the stranger in our midst would never have been unmasked. I hope that you see now how much we need you as our... I cannot, in good conscience, return to my former role, Your Highness. My actions were unbecoming of a royal record keeper, unbecoming of any decent citizen, truth be told. I deserve and desire to remain imprisoned. I hope you understand. If that is what you wish, Stromed, then I shall not stand in your way. Though I hope that in time you will feel ready to return to your rightful place. And you, Princess Gloria. What do you intend to do next? Savalon may be safe for now, Your Highness, but other kingdoms remain in danger. And while we cannot know for certain until we've investigated further, my suspicion is that this is all Holograd's doing. I mean to go to those kingdoms' aid, just as we came to yours. I see. Princess Gloria, you and your friends have come to Savalon's rescue not once, but twice now. It is only fitting, therefore, that we attempt to return the favor. Would you permit me and my people to assist you in your quest? You would really do this for us? Of course. Though, naturally, with the Council in chaos, I doubt we will be able to act immediately. Still, 
I am sure I will eventually be able to persuade the elders to lend you our full support. Thank you, Your Highness. That would be very much appreciated. Okay, that's the end of this chapter. Hmm. Any last minute skits? Savalon's future? Seems like Savalon's going to have an, uh, 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 going to be having a tough time of it for a little while. Hi, right, there's not even enough elders for the council to function. What do you think will happen? New elders will have to be selected. The council cannot sit until it has been the required number of members to do so. And who are they going to choose? Local bigwigs? That kind of thing? Prince Fox and the remaining elders will draw up a short list. They will then discuss the candidates among themselves before making a final decision. Sounds like a pain in the neck. Surely there's a simpler way of doing it. It's worth t taking the time to do things right when the future of the nation's at stake. After all, they don't want to go picking another Bernard. Good point. I forgot you know about these things, Elvis. You were b you being a bigwig yourself. Ah, right, some of your relatives helped found Wiswell. Th that's all. It's not such a big deal back home, honestly. Anyway, there are times when even bigwigs have to forget about the ins and outs of politics and think about their people instead. Indeed, recent events must surely have shown th the elders how precarious their positions can be. But if Holograt's actions have done one good thing, it is the bringing together of the people of Savlon in the face of an invader. Yeah, nobody's going to want to join forces with a country that's been killing their council members. And there will be no need to do so. I have faith in the people of Savlon and Prince Pollux. We must have discussed with the council how to best deal with the threat from Holograd. I'd be grateful if you could wait while we deliberate. I think Marla could have been so embittered by the loss of her father is truly horrifying. Not least because I see some of her in me. Forgive me, I must not think such things. That was some top-notch detective work back there, laddie. Have you ever considered a career in law enforcement? After we finish saving the world, of course. Was Adam just taking advantage of Marla, or did he actually try to help her? Not that it really matters, I guess. Things would have ended the same either way. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Bravely Default 2. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.